I got a, got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. Another thing I wanted to uh, address on the video too, you'll notice that the GoFish Cam logo is upside down. And the reason for that is because when I did cast out, it landed upside down. And it always does that because the way that the camera is set up on here and when we cast out, all the weight is pulled on the bottom of the camera. So it flips it when it lands in the water because then it's gonna pull the top end down kind of deal. And that's why it's upside down. We can't really sit there and position it and it doesn't have a level inside there that would level off the camera to what's going on. So yeah, that's why you will see it to the right or to the left because it's actually laying on the floor, the sea floor that is. And depending on which way the current is pulling it or the leader is pulling it or the bait is pulling it will determine which way it goes. And right there, that is the actual pickup of the fish. You don't even see it come up and hit the bait or anything. And and as you can tell, as it comes from the deep to the shallow water, you can actually start seeing the regular light. And when the regular light hits it, you don't see much of the green light helping out because the water ain't deep. Unless he runs deep and then it allows you to see the green light play effect because the fish is trying to run back down into the channel but i'm sorry guys i'm fishing with avid raptors you know sx mxl lx with 100 pound test and you know my deal is to get these fish into the pier on the pier photo catch and release as quickly as possible and uh by not fighting the fish too long i can I'm able to get from fish to fish to fish without having to worry about stressing them out too much and uh yeah you know it's, Truly excited to finally catch me catching a fish using the GoFish camera, but uh, it's, you're going through a world of trip, turbulation and flipping and in the water, out of the water, in the grass and everything else. And I think that had a lot to do with the clarity of the water right there. So, And I want to say this was a 37 inch black drum that ended up hooking up on this leader at that time. So. Ah, here's the fight or the rest of the fight footage. I've got two more to go through and I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all check this one out while I got the next two up for y'all to check out. So here it is. Alright guys, so casting into the wind on this day was a pretty tough feat because we were battling against at least 20-25 mile per hour winds and these goldfish cams aren't really aerodynamic on the cast. They're, you know, very aerodynamic to be pulled in water and on the leader, but as for casting, it doesn't really do us any good. <clears throat> However, I was still able to get good, you know, 50 to 60 yard casts on them and get deep into the channel. And because on the last video, it was black, it was pitch black even though it was in the middle of the day, I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and turn on the light on the GoFish cam. So that's what we're able to see even though it's deep in the channel and as you can tell it's all black everywhere else except where the light is at so that helped us out big time so we uh, were able to get this footage right here and here's the bait in play and we'll see what we can 